The Bank of Korea has raised South Korea's benchmark interest rate to 1.75%. The decision comes as the new governor signaled the hikes are aimed at combating soaring consumer prices. The bank also forecasts the country's inflation rate to accelerate, with the figure hitting its highest point in almost 14 years. Om Jong with the details. South Korea's central bank has raised its key interest rate two times in a row for the first time in 15 years. The Bank of Korea hiked the base rate to 1.75 percent, up a quarter percentage point amid soaring consumer prices. The decision was made during the bank's policy meeting on Thursday in an attempt to rein in the country's inflation, which is nearing 5 percent. The rate hike comes just one month after the central bank raised the key interest rate by 25 basis points. This also marks the fifth increase since the BOK slashed its rate to a record low of 0.5 percent in May 2020 due to virus woes. The government has been pursuing a tighter monetary policy since August last year amid growing global inflationary pressure. Now the benchmark rate has been set at even higher than the 1.25 percent from just before the outbreak of COVID-19. Thursday's rate decision meeting was the first one presided over by new BOK Governor Yi Chang-yong, who had been signaling rate hikes. He has been indicating that inflation is the BOK's policy priority. The bank is seeing faster inflation this year with inflation rate forecasts of 4.5 percent. It's the highest in almost 14 years and up from the previous 3.1 percent forecast made in February. This comes as South Korea's consumer prices are seeing the biggest on-year increase since October 2008 during the global financial crisis. The country's consumer price index last month surged by 4.8 percent from the year before, well above the government's inflation target of 2 percent. The Bank of Korea also said the economy is likely to sustain sound recovery this year, with growth projected at 2.7 percent. But that figure has seen 0.3 percentage points slash from the projection made in February. It said the growth will be led by increased private spending with the lifting of social distancing measures, but due to the global economic slowdown, export growth is expected to fall. Om Jiyong, Arirang News.